Yeah, that's coming out today. That's coming out today? This address? Yes. It was supposed to come out on Monday, but because of the news. What can you tell us about your thoughts on uh, Senator John McCain's uh, changes to the sure. to the funding for law? Yeah, I, I share Congresswoman Bernadette's revulsion uh, of this persistent and consistent attitude uh, shown by Sister Mc, uh, Senator McCain. Uh, it's obvious that he considers Guam more a piece of property uh, rather than Americans. Uh, it, it, it's in line with his consistent belief in the exploitation of our people uh, and, our, and our property without spending a single penny uh, of monies to deal with the, the issues that are affecting our community. It goes against some of his previous stances and whether it's in the pivot to, to the Asia Pacific region. Also, uh, in his previous stances, and I, I know the Congresswoman brought it up, on independent studies that have shown uh, uh, a requirement of upgrading our infrastructure here in Guam. Uh, this has been done in other American communities uh, in the United States, uh, outside the gate improvements. Uh, but obviously for Sister, uh, Senator McCain, uh, he believes Guam is an exception, an anomaly. And again, uh, it appears uh, uh, he has no problem with uh, the exploiting of our people and our island uh, uh, without spending one red cent to improve the lot of our people. It's against the one Guam approach, uh, the four pillars uh, that I signed in in the programmatic agreement, and that's unfortunate. Uh, he's going counter to, to an agreement that has been signed uh, by our administration, the people of Guam, uh, and the federal government. What does this mean for the build up for and is your office going to do anything about it, or is, I guess are you going to react to it if it's official? We're just going to have to continue to push. Again, I, I met a representative from C Senator Inhofe's uh, staff uh, who is replacing Senator McCain as a senior ranking minority member. But obviously, even though he is not in that position, he still is a member of the Senate and he is still a very uh, influential. And for many of the senators, though even those that are in agreement uh, with the stance of, of, the con of the House of Representatives, and um, uh, for them to, to go against the wishes of Senator McCain, obviously it, that it, in itself is, is very difficult. So we just got to continue to press and press, and hopefully from different, different areas we can put enough pressure so that uh, the other members of the Senate uh, will, again, hopefully um, uh, look towards uh, going uh, counter to this constant opposition that has been, uh, has been so consistent by Senator McCain. We'll take one last question. Mm -hmm. sure. Are there any others? Sure. Please, please. Uh, um, no problem. Well, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm pretty new to the, the circumstances here, and um, I guess I was just wondering mm -hmm. um, how the, how the, the statements made by McCain will affect the average person on Guam. Well, it, it's obvious right now that we have, uh, we've reached capacity for our infrastructure, particularly to our, our wastewater system. Uh, we are currently already uh, having increased military activity uh, in this island. I brought this forward uh, in the Senate Armed Services Committee and the House Armed Services Committee. We've had two exercises just this year. Uh, one, again, that was Operation Cope North. The other, Wuhan Shield, which is ongoing where hundreds if not thousands of, of, uh, of men and women in uniform, not only from Guam, but also our allied uh, nations, are, are conducting exercises in northern Guam. Uh, they are making use already uh, of an overtaxed, uh, an overburdened uh, infrastructure. Uh, the impacts of this are, are, are quite, we're, we're, we're feeling it today. Uh, every time one additional soldier comes for these exercises, they impact a system that's already overwhelmed. Uh, so again, everything that is occurring uh, uh, and what is being put forward by Senator McCain seems to be inconsistent with some of his other stances when it came to uh, strategic policy of the United States 
including improvements outside the gate, which he has, uh, has which he has been in favor for in the 50 states, but it appears, uh, being a territory, being so far away uh, from the power base, that uh, he is inconsistent uh, in his treatment of an American territory such as Guam. Uh, and again, I call it uh, exploitation of our people and our, and our island. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Okay.